Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about pericoronitis and I am Ashwini. We are going to learn about what is pericoronitis, what are the signs and symptoms, its effects and management. So, what is pericoronitis? It is an inflammation of gum tissue surrounding the crown portion of incompletely erupted tooth. Usually, it affects partially erupted lower third molar tooth that is wisdom tooth where gum tissue overlaps the chewing surface of tooth. And we have acute and chronic pericoronitis. Chronic pericoronitis, a mild persistent inflammation of the area. Acute, symptoms intensify to fever, swelling and pain indicating spreading infection of coronitis. Anatomical relationship, occlusal surface of an involved tooth may be partly covered by a flap of tissue which is called operculum that exists during eruption of the tooth and may persist afterwards. Various degree of eruption, mall position of impacted tooth may further complicate this pericoronitis condition. So, what causes pericoronitis? Most common site, as we all know, partially erupted or impacted mandibular third molar tooth. So the space between the crown and the overlying gingival flap, ideal area for the accumulation of food debris and bacterial growth. Let us see clinical features. Difficulty in complete closure of the jaws. The flap is traumatized by Contact with opposing jaw and inflammatory involvement is aggravated. So we have a red swollen lesion, tender, radiating pain to ear, throat, floor of the mouth regions, foul taste, bad odor, inability to close the jaw, swelling of the cheek region. Complications of pericoronitis Localized in form of pericoronal abscess which may develop May spread posteriorly into oropharyngeal area Difficulty in swallowing Involvement of lymph nodes Abscess formation Cellulitis Ludwig's angina Or infrequent but potential sequel of pericoronitis Management of pericoronitis, we have non-surgical and surgical management. Non-surgical, gently flush the area with warm water to remove debris and exudates. Pain, for pain management, painkiller medications over the counter such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen are used. Antibiotic, amoxicillin or erythromycin to avoid the spread of infection, swab with antiseptic. In surgical management, we have operculectomy in which the flap of tissue which is called operculum, the inflamed area is removed and we have removal of the tooth that is extraction of the impacted molar. Thank you for watching this video.